Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Double Dwarfism Buried underneath a medieval monastery in Poland, archaeologists found the skeleton of a man who lived around 1,100 years ago. The skeleton of this individual shocked archaeologists because it showed evidence of two forms of dwarfism. This man had a rare condition. He had double dwarfism, something never before seen in an ancient skeleton. The cemetery is in the village of Lekno, home to only a few hundred people. However, between the 9th and 11th centuries, the town was more populated and far livelier. Then, in the 12th century, a Catholic religious order of monks showed up and built a monastery. This cemetery was added in 1450, and it was used up until the 16th century, when the citizens began to slowly leave town. The graveyard was originally excavated by archaeologists in 1990, revealing over 400 burials. But in late 2022, researchers used new technology in order to carbon date the skeletons. And that led to the more involved investigation of the mysterious skeleton, who suffered from multiple skeletal dysplasias and achondroplasia. Archaeologists discovered that he also had a rare condition called Larry Whale dyschondrosteosis, or LWD. All these afflictions had horrible consequences for the development of the individual's bones, tendons, muscles, and cartilage. This man had a disproportionate skull, and his spinal cord wasn't quite right. His ribs were also too short, and his hip bones flared unnaturally. He would have looked, even by medieval standards, extremely strange to the other people in the village. And you know that looking strange in the 11th century was not a very good life. Number 9. The Lost City of Atlantis In 400 BC, the great Greek philosopher Plato describes an advanced island civilization ruling an empire with unprecedented technological prowess. This empire had its capital in the city of Atlantis. They had a great harbor wall and giant pillars at the entrance of their city. They also had a megalithic temple built in honor of Poseidon. But after the Atlanteans became too prideful, they were thrust into the sea by the angry gods. They flew too close to the sun, and their great city was destroyed, submerged under hundreds of feet of water. At least that's the story Plato told 2,400 years ago. Unfortunately, nobody has been able to prove the location or even existence of Atlantis. But that hasn't stopped a team of historians from providing evidence of a potential Atlantis in southern Spain. Researchers with a private firm called Merlin Burroughs identified the ancient ruins of a gigantic harbor city using satellite imaging. The team believes they've uncovered the remnants of Atlantis's harbor walls. There are no stones or physical structures left, only imprints in the ground where these stones supposedly once stood. This alleged city was found in Doñana National Park. If the researchers are correct, it didn't look anything like anyone had previously imagined for Atlantis. They believe the city was built on artificial islands, with each district and neighborhood sitting on its own special platform. This would have made the city of Atlantis look like a collection of floating temples and tall, tiered structures, like houses floating on wooden lily pads. Number 8. Unbelievable Nanostructures a team of archaeologists were conducting research on gold extraction in the Ural Mountains of Russia in 1991. During their investigation, they came across mysterious microscopic objects that make absolutely no sense. The tiny structures found in the Ural Mountains appear to be the byproducts of an ancient civilization that developed nanotechnology 300,000 years ago. The implication here is that an unknown race of beings lived in prehistoric Russia and had access to technology from the future. However, modern human civilizations only began to form about 6,000 years ago. So who built the nanostructures? The discovery is relatively simple. Tiny metal coils and pieces of nanotech were found embedded in rock that was dated to be hundreds of thousands of years old. They looked like tiny bits that you might find in a modern computer or a rocket. In fact, scientists initially speculated that the tiny parts fell out of a rocket that was launched at the nearby site in Plesetsk. However, this theory was never confirmed. After these strange materials were allegedly given to a research facility in Helsinki, we never heard of them again. Number 7. 
The Labyrinth Connection Archaeologists discovered a labyrinth in India that dates back about 2,000 years. The labyrinth was located on what was once a popular trading route moving along the east coast. Sometime in the last few centuries, a temple was built on top of the labyrinth, and only its broken remains are left. However, it's not the discovery of the ancient labyrinth that has experts so fascinated. It's the connection the labyrinth has to a mysterious clay tablet found in Greece from 3,200 years ago. In ancient India, labyrinths were frequently used as a meditation tool. Entering a labyrinth symbolized death, and coming out on the other side was a symbol of rebirth. Labyrinths can mimic the course of the sun, and they can be used as a rite of passage. They can also help people work through their own personal trials. The labyrinth discovered in Gedimedu, India in 2015 is hardly the only one in the country. There is a massive labyrinth in Tamil Nadu state, and another from the 6th century discovered in the back of a dark cave in Andhra Pradesh. The reason this newly discovered labyrinth is so interesting is because it looks identical to the labyrinth carved on the clay tablet found in Pylos, Greece. The design of the labyrinths are identical, yet they were made 1,200 years apart. Scientists can't even begin to speculate on the reasons behind this bizarre coincidence. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below! Number 6. The Tomb of the Black Prince Edward of Woodstock, also called the Black Prince, died six centuries ago. It was only recently, in late 2022, that a group of scientists decided to undertake a full analysis of his tomb in England's Canterbury Cathedral. Researchers from the Courtauld Institute of Art were interested in the effigy of the Black Prince. It's one of only six massive metal sculptures that has survived since the medieval times in England. They wanted to know how the effigy was made, especially since it was created during a time when things simply weren't made out of metal very often. But let's quickly look at who the Black Prince was. He was the son of Edward III of England and ruled the English military during the Hundred Years' War. He never became king, but he lived his life as a brutal general until he got sick and died from dysentery on June 8, 1376. He was 45 years old when he passed away. After the Black Prince's death, his son, Richard II, had his tomb made exactly to the prince's specifications. He had a huge metal effigy built onto the lid of his coffin, a life-sized version of the Black Prince suited in war armor and wearing a crown. For the first time ever, researcher Dr. Jessica Barker used an endoscope to look at the insides of the metal effigy. They discover that the whole thing is kept together by a complex system of bolts and pins that can't be seen from the outside. What the study revealed was that the metal effigy of the Black Prince is currently the most sophisticated metal casting from the Middle Ages. The effigy would have been created by an expert armorer, with help from a blacksmith, and each piece was made individually and with meticulous care. Number 5. Mutation Mystery an ancient graveyard discovered in Ireland in 2022 contained the bodies of over 1,300 people, most of whom died in the medieval days. While researchers were combing through the large collection of bones, they discovered a mysterious mutation. Scientists from Queen's University Belfast and Trinity College Dublin were behind the investigation. They found that two men buried in the graveyard at Balihana suffered from a rare condition called multiple osteochondromas. This condition causes benign bone tumors, which would have been extremely unfortunate to have with the poor medical knowledge of medieval Ireland. The cemetery itself was found by accident. A new bypass was being constructed in County Donegal, which revealed the lost Gallic graveyard dating back over 1,000 years. The two men with the mutation proved to be the most interesting discovery during the excavation. Researchers say their affliction likely stemmed from a genetic mutation in their EXT1 gene. Normally, if you find two men in the same graveyard with the same rare disease, you'd expect them to share some blood relation. However, they weren't related in the slightest and lived hundreds of years apart from each other. They also suffered from two different mutations. 
One of the men had a mutation that modern patients still have, but it's still rare since only 1 in 50,000 people are diagnosed with it. The other mutation has never been seen before by scientists. It appears to have died out in the Middle Ages. Number 4. An Unusual Stone Pillar a strange stone pillar was discovered by a local resident of Victoria while strolling along a beach in the summer of 2020. The Canadian beachgoer thought the pillar looked a little strange, but he couldn't identify what it was. He got a hold of some experts, and the artifact was soon moved to the Royal BC Museum. Once it arrived, museum curator Grant Keddy and his team worked to protect the artifact's integrity, and they were able to confirm it as authentic. It turns out the pillar on the beach was used by indigenous people centuries ago in mysterious rituals and ceremonies, long before Europeans ever arrived. The pillar once stood at the top of a cliff near the beach, but was buried in some rubble when a part of the cliff collapsed in a landslide. The pillar was carved at a time when Victoria Harbour was occupied by the Songhees village. Researchers say it's likely that the carved stone pillar was believed to have special powers when it stood at the edge of the cliff. The coastal people of British Columbia believed in the power of totems, and the pillar, which was carved with a human-like face, may have been seen as a specialty stone. It would have been used to draw in salmon if they were too late in the season, or to change the weather when people needed to fish. Number 3. Loki's Artifact Archaeologists in Denmark made an amazing discovery in 2017. In the Viking Age settlement of Agard, they uncovered a buckle that appeared to depict the Norse god Loki. The incredible artifact was found by treasure hunting enthusiast Knud Christian Larsen using his metal detector. It's been hailed as a fantastic discovery because ancient depictions of Loki are extremely difficult to come by. Even though he might be one of the most popular ancient gods these days thanks to pop culture, Loki wasn't nearly as important to the Vikings. He was a trickster god and was said to be the direct cause of Ragnarok. To put things simply, nobody really liked Loki or his mischief. Archaeologist Nana Holmes says that because very few artifacts of Loki have been found, we know he wasn't nearly as important to the Vikings as Thor. Although the character on the buckle does appear to be Loki, it's not a sure thing. All the researchers can say for certain is that it shows a winged person from Norse mythology. It could be the giant Thiazi, or it might even be Odin. But if it truly is Loki, like many believe it is, it's possible that the trickster god represented something other than mischief for the Vikings. Number 2. The Oldest Leather Shoe Archaeologists investigating an Armenian cave discovered a shoe in 2008. But finding prehistoric footwear is nothing new. Researchers found sandals made from sagebrush bark in a cave in Oregon in 1936, dating back to 3500 BC. And in 2005, Iron Age leather shoes were found in a quarry in the UK, dated at roughly 2000 years old. Then there were the shoes found on Otzi the Iceman, who was discovered in 1991, frozen in the Austrian Alps where he'd been stuck in a block of ice since 3300 BC. As I said, archaeologists have found a lot of ancient shoes in the world, but the discovery in Armenia was truly remarkable. It's currently the oldest leather shoe ever found at 5500 years old. The shoe isn't as old as Oregon's bark shoes, but it's the oldest piece of footwear made from leather. Whoever crafted the shoe and lived in the cave did so before the pyramids were built in Giza, long before Stonehenge was even an idea. But what's the oldest shoe ever found made out of? Researchers say the piece of footwear was crafted from a single piece of leather cowhide, shaped to fit the wearer perfectly. The shoe was then stuffed with grass for insulation and comfort. Number 1. The Mystery Woman In December 2022, researchers came across some strange scribbles and sketches drawn on a manuscript 1,200 years ago. The markings were found by scientists looking at an ancient medieval book at the University of Oxford's library in England. They say the mysterious markings were made by a highly educated woman at a time when only the richest people in society could read and write. One of these scribbles was the old English name Edberg, which may have been the name of the woman doodling on the pages. 
But not all of the doodles are entirely clear. It looks like Edberg was drawing characters on the pages of the book, as scientists have identified outstretched arms and things like that. Her name is written in the manuscript over 10 times, and she appears to have highlighted some passages of the text, which is a copy of Acts of the Apostles, published in England around the year 700. Researchers doubt there's any real significance to the doodles. The wealthy woman was most likely bored and decided to draw characters in an ancient religious book. I mean, we've all been there, so it's easy to relate. Thanks for watching! Which of these shocking archaeological discoveries did you find the most interesting? Let us all know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!